question of the day. Cookie dough or ice cream? Today we're gonna be combining them. Yay, we're gonna be making some cookie dough ice cream and we made some ice cream about a year ago but we made it with an ice cream maker. So today we're gonna make some non-ice cream maker ice, ice cream. cream. And we're also gonna make some waffle cones and even though we just got a waffle cone iron, we're making the cones without it. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't have a waffle cone maker or you don't have an ice cream maker, you can still make this and it'll yeah. still taste awesome. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Let's, Let's get, get going. going. <laughs> Guess who's driving us to the store? You. All right, do all my passengers have their seatbelts on? Almost. Oh my God, this is really scary. <laughs> this is weird, I don't like this. Mira just turned on the car. And we were about to start driving. How are the mirrors? How are the mirrors? They're good. I can see the car that I hopefully won't hit. Yeah, we're moving. <laughs> this way too. Back that way. Then you can turn. Good job. Yeah. I really want to look back and see Dylan's face, but that would be unsafe. To make your ice cream, combine in a bowl one can of sweetened condensed milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then whisk that together. Then in a stand mixer, whip up two cups of heavy whipping cream. Meanwhile, combine a quarter stick of butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of white sugar. Then add a teaspoon of milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. Then heat treat a quarter cup of flour, which means microwaving it until it's 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Then add it into your butter sugar mixture. When it's halfway mixed, add one teaspoon of chocolate chips, or a little bit more. When your whipped cream is fully whipped, start spatulating it into the sweetened condensed milk and folding it in. Then start adding in chunks of cookie dough and more chocolate chips. Then spoon this mixture into a chilled loaf pan and stick it in the freezer to chill for six hours. While it's chilling we can make our cones, so combine one egg with one egg white and mix it together. Then add a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter cup of sugar. Then add two thirds cup of flour and two tablespoons of melted butter. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Then you can spoon one third cup onto your waffle cone maker. Or you can see how we will later make one without a waffle cone maker. Okay, our stove is not working, so this is how you light a stove that's not working. Ta-da! Science! Mm. Wow. Thank you. It's like a pancake. <laughs> but it's not supposed to be a pancake, it's supposed to be a cone. I know. I'm trying to smush it. Okay, Dawn's gonna try to roll hers out with a little wind pen. So 
Here are our amazing ice cones. Oh, mine's dripping. So we made these with no ice cream machines, and this cone is uh, great. Mira's cone is um, not made with a waffle maker, a waffle iron maker. Mine is. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely try this. Yep, and go follow our Instagram. Stay snazzy.